Appendix. Dow Calligraphy Healing Field Research Case Studies by Peter Hudoba, MD, FR, CS. Research into the effects of Dow Calligraphy Healing Field practice and Dow Calligraphy Light Field transmissions has been ongoing across several different studies for the last several years. I would like to share some representative interim results from a recent study in progress sponsored by Shaw Research Foundation based in San Francisco, California, California, of which I am the research director. The study was designed as a prospect, prospective follow-up study focusing on Tao calligraphy movement meditation, which you have learned from this book, is Tao calligraphy power through Dan, lower abdomen tracing with mantra chanting, sound power, the Institutional Review Board, IRB, in Aurora, Ontario, Canada, approved the study in 2007, 17. So they approved the study in 2017, and the study commenced in January 2018. Study subjects came from the United States and Canada. They suffered from various medically diagnosed physical or emotional conditions. All subjects received a personal healing blessing and one or more Tao calligraphy light field transmissions from Dr. and Master Jigong Sha. They were instructed to practice daily for one to two hours using sound power and Tao calligraphy power and also incorporating soul power body power, and mind power. In addition, 30-minute group practice sessions led by trained instructors were offered twice a week. Participation was strongly encouraged, but voluntary. The self-practice instructions were as, followed, as follows. Body power, stand or sit comfortably. Mind power. Visualize golden light in and around the unhealthy area or, for emotional conditions, the related organ. Sound power. Chant appropriate mantras. Soul power. Say hello to request light and love for healing from inner souls and outer souls. Tao calligraphy power. Stand and do dawn tracing as much as possible. Otherwise, sit and trace with five fingertips. Subjects were encouraged to continue any treatment they were engaged in with conventional or complementary alternative healthcare practitioners. No medical diagnosis or advice was given to subjects. Most of the results shared in this appendix are from the first quarter of 2019, essentially an interim follow-up after one year. More recent information is available for some subjects as indicated in the detail. The study is continuing in two and will end in 2020. Case one. Female on disability for stage four endometriosis diagnosed in March 2011 with extensive pelvic adhesions. Suffered tremendous pain in lower abdomen for many years with very heavy menses, could not function, became depressed, anxious, and suicidal. Unable to have bowel movements due to adhesions in sigmoid from endometriosis and had been giving herself an enema almost every day. Treated with Lupron hormone replacement therapy and contraceptives. An MRI in February 2014 revealed large ovarian cysts, uterine adenomyosis, 
adenomyosis and adhesions constricting the colon. She planned a hysterectomy and removal of ovaries. In, 2000, in April 2014, she received a healing blessing from Dr. and Master Shah for her endometriosis. Almost immediately after the healing blessing, she experienced total peace and her suicidal thoughts stopped. Moreover, her pain level was reduced by 90% per personal evaluation. The pain level increased later to some degree, but never to prior levels. In, 2000, in July 2014, she had a follow-up consultation with a surgeon who said that based on the latest tests, a hysterectomy and remover of ovaries were not needed. Also, because of some previous adverse reactions to her medication, Lupron, hormone replacement therapy, contraceptives, the surgeon recommended no medication and that further tests would be done only if any symptoms returned. She started to work with a nutritionist and to use a progesterone cream to help with remaining symptoms of endometriosis. Has practiced tracing of the DAI, Dow Calligraphy card daily, as much as she was able, and office, often practiced along with the videos of Dr. and Master Shah tracing in the Dow Calligraphy healing field. In January 2018, she received another healing blessing from Dr. and Master Shah. Her symptoms continued to improve markedly. She received numerous Tao calligraphy light field transmission, transmissions throughout to 2019. Her menses have become less heavy and the associated pain is mostly gone. She started losing excess weight. Her constipation due to constriction in the sigmoid that required a daily enema has improved by 80%. She no longer feels a sharp pain in the colon that she previously experienced during all of her periods. Gradually, pain in her knees and lower back has improved and significant swelling in her ankles has completely resolved. In 2019, after years of disability, she returned to work as a part-time office assistant for the school board and later moved to a full-time job at another office with daily commute, commute of two hours. She was also able to travel aboard for the first time in years. Blood work in January 2019 showed that almost all values were within the normal range. X-rays in December 2018 found only minimal evidence of osteoarthritis. An ultrasound administered in two, December 2018 noted adenomyosis and uterine fibroids stable since 2014. Bilateral ovarian endometriosis decreased from 2014. Case two, female diagno diagnosed in 2007 with chronic lymph um, lymphocytic leukemia and autoimmune and um, autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Received first personal healing blessing from Dr. and Master Shaw in 2013. Afterward, immediately afterward in 2013, she began sporadic, sporadic practices of meditation and qigong. Her condition was stable with no deterioration. In April 2015, she became very weak after walking five blocks to a bank, so she continued walking to the nearest hospital emergency room with shortness of breath. She was immediately admitted to ICU with um, HB22G 
slash L and WBC 1070 with blood count. A CT scan showed an enlarged spleen, enlarged lymph nodes, and a tumor on the liver. She was treated in the ICU for one week with chemotherapy, prednisone, and transfusions. After discharge, she, only, she took only prednisone for five months. When she left ICU in May 2015, she started to receive Dow calligraphy distance healing daily for three months. She started to practice with daily Dao calligraphy daily, as well as practicing meditations and Qigong daily. In 2015, five months after admission to ICU, she consulted a specialist again. Her um, WBC dropped from 1070 to 99. She stopped taking um, prednisone and receiving transfusion for anemia. In May 2016, she was evaluated again by a specialist again, WBC 103, HB um, 117, GL. Note that she achieved these um, improved results without chemotherapy or transfusion. So in March 2017, and nearly two years after admission to ICU, she remains in good health, is positive and at peace with her illness. She feels balanced emotionally, feels good energy and stamina, and can form all normal activities of daily life. She is planning to start a business. Case three, female. When she was five years old, her mother nearly died. The subject developed intense social anxiety, physical pain, nerve spasms in intestines, intense anger, and feelings of disconnection and detachment. These worsened when her father began to drink heavily. As an adult, she has suffered from night terrors every day, waking up completely shaken and terrified with heart racing, heavy breathing, and completely soaked with cold sweat. She also suffered from pervasive grief from her childhood trauma. She has been doing foundational practices daily with forgiveness, chanting, and Tao calligraphy power together for about one and a half hours. In January 2018, she received Tao calligraphy healing field blessings, a permanent light field transmission from Dr. and Master Shah. The next night, she was able to sleep through the night without any night terrors. She said, the sleep was truly peaceful. She has since received several additional Tao calligraphy light field transmissions for her condition. As of November 2019, she is able to go to sleep without worry and experiences no nightmares. She awakens fresh and rested. Symptoms of fright, terror, terror, racing heart, sweating, and waking from nightmares have completely resolved. She is no longer afraid, apprehensive, or reluctant to go to sleep. She feels joy and happiness, which she considers incredible. Case four, this 78 year old female suffers from a genetic disorder, abundant colon. Her large intestine coils around itself in the right and left quadrants with par partial bowel obstruction. She suffered from mild constipation throughout life. In 2015, she contracted omebic um, dysentery in a foreign country. Since then, she has experienced severe abdominal pains, significant weight loss, major constipation, and abdominal bloating. Medications include medications include 
hyoscyamine, and linzes. Enrolled into the study and received initial healing blessings and Dao calligraphy light field transmissions in January 2018. Received further light field transmissions and healing blessings in September 2019 for various organs, organ systems, and energy centers. Practices about two hours a day. Constipation is completely gone for the first time in her life. The partial bowel obstruction is completely gone. Sensation of abdominal bloating is more than 90% relieved. Pain is greatly reduced. Feels more peaceful, grateful, and tolerant. Able to take care of her property, rentals, and garden completely, and even helps her elderly tenants and her disabled sister. Case five, in 2013, this now 35-year-old female suffered from progressively worsening headaches and began to lose hearing in her right ear. Examination revealed no neurological benefit besides the hearing loss. In 2013, she was diagnosed from an MRI with vestib vestibular schwannoma, 20 times 21 mm. In 2014, the tumor grew to 27 mm millimeters and she had surgery to remove it. The surgeon left a residue of five millimeter on the facial nerve to preserve the nerve. An MRI in 2017 showed that this residue grew to 10 millimeters. She was offered a gamma knife radiosurgical procedure, but she decided not to proceed. Medications include painkillers and dexamethasone. Saw several energy healers. After meeting Dr. Master Shaw, she began practicing with Tao calligraphy, forgiveness, and chanting anywhere from 30 minutes to six hours a day. In September 2019, 2019, she had a personal consultation with Dr. Master Shaw and received clearing of some negative Shen Chi Jing blockages. She also received two permanent light field transmissions for her condition, as well as light field transmissions for her brain, heart, liver, kidneys, ear nerves, central nervous system, immune system, endocrine system, digestive system, and lymphatic system. Waiting for results of October 2019 MRI. Feels more sensitive and feels stronger energies and vibrations in the body. Feels really light. Tightness in the head has relaxed. The 66 year old female has suffered from outbursts of anger, nausea, and vomiting every morning. Sniff stiffness in the left knee cataracts for 13 years and pain from a torn right biceps ligament for three years. Upon entering the study in January 2018, she received healing blessings and a light transmission for healing anger. She practices with Tao calligraphy power and sound power chanting. In 2019, July, she reported cataracts improved for six months after the healing blessings, but more recently became worse. Discomfort from the torn bicep ligament has reduced. Anger outbursts have improved by 20 to 30% in frequency and severity. Morning nausea and vom vomiting are completely gone. So this was for case six. So case seven, female, age 55, diagnosed in 2017 
with burnout from excessive stress, long work hours and demanding care for family members. Suffered from poor memory and difficulty focusing. In stressful situations, she would stutter and could no longer speak normally. Developed insomnia. Many tasks and activities took longer than normal to accomplish. Developed high blood pressure in stressful occasions and would become dizzy. Prescribed candid core, pump, and S and and escitalopram for depression and lecanidipine for high blood pressure. Was released from work in 2017. Daily practices include dial calligraphy tracing and chanting. Also attends dial calligraphy healing field group practice sessions. Received healing blessings and permanent light field transmissions upon enrolling in the study in January 2018. Her focus to her ability to focus has improved. Stuttering improved significantly, now speaks normally. One year later, early 2019, her depressive symptoms improved to the point where she was able to stop her medications for depression. One and a half years later, late spring 2019, she stopped her high blood pressure medication. She is still on sick leave from work with burnout. Case eight, this 57 year old female has suffered from agoraphobia with panic attacks for 43 years since she was 14. Agoraphobia is anxiety in situations where the person perceives their environment to be unsafe with no easy way to escape. These environments can include open spaces, public transit, shopping centers, or simply being outside their home. Her, her, her emotional pain has usually been at the level eight on a scale from zero, no pain, to 10, highest excruciating pain. Anxiety impacts her ability to function and is strongest with other people when she is outside. She cannot drive a car, for example. She has consulted naturopaths, psychologists, herbalists, acupuncturists, cognitive behavior therapists, and other healers, and taken vitamin supplements in an unfruitful search for a solution. Upon joining the study and subsequently, she has received several clearings of negative Shenzhen blockages and numerous dial calligraphy light field transmissions. She has done her self-healing practices, including forgiveness, dial calligraphy tracing and chanting for one and one half hours daily. As of November, 2019, she feels much better better overall, finds it much easier to be among and with people with little or no anxiety, is more stable emotionally, in particular has less anger, is actually able to relax, is more aware of her behavior and is conscious, consciously trying to improve. Case nine. The 70 year old female has suffered from arthritis with inflammation throughout her entire body. Her muscular skeletal issues involve the neck, spine, shoulders, hips, knees, hands, and all joints. Arthritis started 45 years ago in her knees. Her wrists have become painfully inflamed. 
the inflammation and pain were at times so intense that she could not take care of herself, walk normally, or carry or hold even the lightest of objects. When her whole body was inflamed, she could not leave her home. Hip pain arose because her hips became misaligned from inflammation. In turn, her muscles were strained, trying to compensate for the imbalances in her stance and stride, resulting in chronic and at times sp sp spastic muscle pain. Medications include anti-inflammatories in um, Plaquenil, 200 milligrams daily. She has also sought relief from traditional Chinese medicine, herbology, acupuncture, and herbal teas. Since being introduced to Dr. Master Shah's soul healing system in 2010, she has received clearings of negative Shenxi Jing blockages and various light field transmissions. In 2010, she received a healing blessing from Dr. and Master Sha for her swollen knees. The swelling disappeared almost instantly and have not returned. She practices forgiveness, dial calligraphy tracing and chanting. In December, 2018, her rheumatologist was so pleased with her improvement that he reduced the, the doses of Plaquenil from 200 milligrams to 100 milligrams daily. A recent x-ray, January 2020, reported degenerative changes of the hands and feet. There was no radiographic evidence of inflammatory arthro arthropathy. arthropathy. She is now able to move fully including using her hands fully and turning her neck, which at times before felt fused. She is now free of hip and muscle pain and no longer needs a cane to walk. Case 10, the 50, this 50 year old male was diagnosed in 1984 with gay lymph node syndrome, syndrome and presumed acute onset of HIV infection. In 1986, he was confirmed to be HIV positive. In the early 1990s, he received a diagnosis of AIDS based on declining T, count cell, T cell count below 20, 200. In 1990, he started monotherapy. In 1996, he was hospitalized with AIDS-related pneumonia and a T-cell count of seven. In 1997, he started combination um, antiretroviral therapy. After 1997, his T-cell count slowly climbed back to the mid-500 range and his health stabilized. In 2006, he met Dr. and Master Shah and began using soul power and receiving healing field blessings. He has continued with combination um, antiretroviral therapy, but also received numerous light field transmissions. He practices self-healing medita meditations and Tao calligraphy tracing daily. In 2013, his T cell count returned to the fully normal range, over 700, where it has, it has remained. He enjoys continued stable health and leads a fully active life, including full-time work. The overall conclusions of this entire research study from which we have provided the above sampling of cases can be summarized as follows. Meditation with tracing Tao calligraphy and including body, body power, soul power, mind power, and sound power was easy to learn, well tolerated, 
and no complications arose. The results of this study confirmed the efficacy of combining light field transmissions of positive information and energies and dial calligraphy tracing with conventional medical treatment. <laughs>